Sembra molto vicino, vediamo se riusciamo a vederlo. In the cross-border areas between Italy and Slovenia, research is being undertaken on a species recently discovered breeding in Italy, where it is only present in the pre-alpine and alpine sectors of the region Friuli Venezia Giulia, up as far as its border with the Veneto. The Ural Owl The species inhabits the extensive coniferous and broadleaf forests, but only those with large trees, offering suitable nesting sites. The search for the presence of the Ural Owl takes place both by day and night, at various times of the year. Recordings of the birds, played back through amplifiers, are used to stimulate the song of territorial males in particular. Sometimes, the researchers use their own voices to imitate the calls as well. The forests will then reveal their presence. The owl is often given away by the alarm calls of other forest birds, frightened by its presence. In the past, as part of a study and conservation program of the Ural Owl, nest boxes were erected on trees to favour the species nesting in forests with few natural cavities. Over time, particularly as a result of weathering, these artificial nest sites require maintenance. And are then put back in their original places. The installation of camera traps serves to document any breeding attempts. All that remains now is to wait and see whether this work 
leads to the hoped for results. The researchers are convinced that this will prove a particularly favourable year for nesting. It's a beech mast year, in which there is abundant production of seeds, a fact which favours an increase in rodent numbers, thus influencing the food chain that connects them to the owls. The monitoring work is carried out in a range of different areas. In some parts of Slovenia, the species is very common and inhabits the vast Dineric forests, places also inhabited by bears. Adesso siamo più o meno in questa zona. E dopo riproviamo anche stasera, no? Sta zona qua. After a long day, immersed in this extraordinary nature, just by chance, a melanic ural owl is encountered. A phenomenon not that rare in this species, but one which always arouses considerable amazement in the lucky observer. The time has come to check the nest boxes. To everyone's great satisfaction, two of them are occupied. The camera traps provide images that allow the researchers to document the secret lives of these authentic ghosts of the woods. In spring, the weather is very variable and the adults are always active, feeding the young both day and night. The chicks grow quickly as a result of the abundance of available prey. The parents then try to encourage them to leave the nest. The most enterprising of the nestlings gathers its courage and clings to the branch. Soon, it will also be the turn of the others. Adults still have to take care of the young, bringing them food and protecting them from any predators. Breeding success is verified by searching for the fledglings, which remain near the nest for a few days. Hey, 
Questo è uscito da poco comunque. Sì, sì. Non più di un giorno. Guarda com'è tranquillo. L'altro più, più in alto, probabilmente è uscito un po' prima. Si è alzato di più sull'altro. Eh, non è facile abete. vederli. Eh no, si mimetizzano mm. perché poi stanno immobili. Guarda, ci sono delle borre sotto. Eh, infatti, guarda qua. Eh. Ah, che belle. Molto fresche queste, non è facile trovarle. Piccolina, tipico del eh, giovane. Del giovane, sì. Comunque interessante. Le portiamo via. Vedremo cosa c'è dentro, cosa ha mangiato. In the first nest, five young have hatched and survived. In the second, six. This is a delicate moment. Sometimes they fall to the ground where they risk being preyed upon before reaching a safe perch. The adults, always attentive, continue to monitor and protect the young until the moment they are able to fend for themselves, dispersing into the forest. results obtained on the Ural Owl are the outcome of many years of research carried out with the support of European Union funded projects, the commitment of the Nature Park Prealpi Giulia and other protected areas working together to enhance and discover more about the most important components of the local fauna in these trans-boundary areas.